Hey guys, what's so welcome back to our tech is and in this video I gonna show you how to fix iCloud lock for iPhone 6, 6 plus, 6s, 6s plus, 7, 7 plus, 8 and 8 plus. This will work on all these iPhones and it's completely 100% working method. So first uh, for that you required a DMS file which you can download it directly from the given link below the description and you required a iFlash drive to store that. Uh, that file the dms file and the second one is the uh you required uh, uh the phone was compete uh, like uh, phone upgraded to ios 11.2.3 because in that version it will only work if you don't know which was uh, which version of your iphone was running currently you can directly check it in uh, dr phone ios recovery and uh, you can check it directly uh, without like uh, even in the iCloud uh, lock phones, you can also check it out there. And even you can also check the, the uh, check the iOS version of a dead phone also there. So first of all, um, uh, for that, uh, let's start directly. So I have tested it out and I have checked it. it's completely working. So let's start there and so give emojis especially so this images in the Apple ID so you can give any emojis so that's not an issue uh, just uh, give around like uh, more than 75 to 100 approx emojis to basically you require to just chuck the iOS and directly jump in the iCloud uh, jump in the home screen so that's the basically the technique was that so I am just trying to give the emojis so not counted it okay, and give emojis as much you can definitely you can but uh, not less because if you give less it will not stuck so you require required to stuck tears and at that point of time you need to use the iflash drive so i have already stored all these things and So hope it's uh, completed it's uh, more than 100 now so let's give the passcode it's also approx more than 100 or 75 So hope it's uh, more than 100 now so let's check it out and then next so it's loading there and okay it's incorrect and again start from the beginning start again so again start from here and basically required to do three or four times in this way so so get again Again in the same more than 100 in this case in the second time it's definitely must be more than 100 not less than 75 and not, not less than 100 the second time it will be more than 100 the emojis you can also okay yes
okay so it seems given more than 100 times and okay so again do the same second time it's again uh, more than 125 so sorry in the third time it's more than 125 so in the third time it's more than 125 so Okay, it seems to be I have already given hundred times so again so give some okay now it's started a little bit uh, laggy and okay okay now again give the emoji okay now it seems done so uh, now in the third time a third attempt you require to connect the iFlash drive so simply connect it okay it's connected now so now let's click the next and check it out okay so in third attempt again do the same so again it's incorrect password so again So at least okay let's move add more emojis okay then I okay now let's check it out again Okay, it seems like something stuck and uh, the time something like appears. So here it is. It's now completely bypassed. Uh, so now the touch ID is appears. Uh, the iCloud activation lock screen has been completely removed. And now it's jump on the touch ID screen. Now I can uh, set up the touch ID. So let's directly set up it. Continue. Okay, cancel. Set up touch ID later. Don't use. Let's see passcode option. Don't use passcode. Don't use setup. And make sure, uh, just like after that, you require to do this as a setup as a new iPhone. Don't do it as a restore from iCloud backup restore from. Definitely require to use the setup as a new iPhone. So right now setup it is a new iPhone. So at the point of time you can log in or you can also log in later. So that not an issue. So use differently okay don't have forget it set up later in setting don't use uh, okay agree continue don't share just view next so here it is welcome to iphone so this is the way in that way you can easily bypass 
so here it is all these apps are already there because uh, it's a complete bypass uh, for that and for and it's completely a permanent solution not like temporary you, you can use it but after restoring that iPhone again uh, the iCloud lock was be uh, done there like iCloud lock will be uh, soon uh, but you require to sign it with your previous user of the phone so again you require to do the same step to bypass it like uh, if you uh, signed up with the iCloud ID and again you format your phone or like restore your phone and then at that point of time you again you required a iCloud ID and that iCloud ID was not that which you using currently you required to use the same iCloud ID which was previously used uh, by the owner so so you can use it as it is so if you restore this then you require to just uh, simply do the same process to bypass it and this is a completely working solution for iOS 11.3.2 only and in the case if you don't know uh, the iOS version of your phone then you require you can use the doctor for iOS recovery to know the uh, iOS version of your phone. So if you like this video then please click on thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thanks for watching this.